Hey, morning. Doing uh, I'm doing half of my sack to Tahoe ride. I'm leaving uh, Midtown and I'm cruising through town. I'm gonna go past the Capitol through Sutter's Fort, and then I gotta go up to uh, Forest Hill. So this is gonna be half of uh, half of the route. This is the easy half. We'll see how easy it goes today. It's still gonna be a bit of a grind. There's some climbing to get up to Forest Hill. So we'll see how it goes. Just cruising down End Street. I'm gonna hit Sutter's Fort. I'm gonna head out 8th Street, go through Sac State. Uh, I can't go along the river today though, because Epi's great race is going on. So I'm gonna have to uh, modify the route this morning, which is fine. Get some, get them mixed up a bit. Just cruising through Sutter's Fort. I'm guessing this ride. All right, cruising down 8th Street, going past McKinley. Kinley Park. I keep modifying this route to uh, Tahoe. I added this part of kind of cruising through town versus hitting the bike trail early. Just kind of see a few more things on the way out of town. Like seeing the Capitol, seeing Sutter's Fort, going past uh, McKinley Park, um, seeing going through Sac State. Before you didn't Alright, really cruising through Sac State. Tons of construction going on here. Uh, to be back in college. The things I do different. Alright, I'll probably pick this back up in Folsom. Really not much to show till then. Alright, 26 miles later. Downtown Folsom. Looks like they're having their... Now the climbing starts for the next, oh, let's see, 26, next 40 miles with little breaks in between, but now it gets hard. All right, I'm at Beals Point and I am heading, next stop Auburn, I just stopped at Beals Point fill up my water bottles. I'm not feeling very strong today so I think I'm gonna usually I wouldn't stop um, but get smart. So next stop will be Rowdy Randy's. Shout out to Boylan up in Auburn. Alright I'm at Rowdy Randy's in Auburn. First purchase of the trip. I'm gonna drink this on the next climb down my water bottle and I got a payday. The nice thing about paydays is they don't melt because they're covered in peanuts. And uh, there's the rig. Let's see, we got 46 miles in. We got another 20-ish to go. All uphill. Well, there's a little downhill start, but all uphill. Um, so, let's do it. All right, down at the confluence, just bomb the road. Come together. Well, the climbing is in full swing. I'm finally feel like I'm in the mountains because I am, and it's gorgeous. I'm on Old Forest Hill Road. This comes up from the confluence where the North and Middle Fork of the American come together. We we're a real popular spot for hikers swimmers, mountain bikers. And this is gonna take me up to Forest Hill Road. And then I'm on Forest Hill Road, um, maybe for like eight miles. And that's kind of a shitty part of the ride, just because there's a nice shoulder, but there is uh, traffic, some traffic. But uh, that is the North Fork, Middle Fork the American down there and we're just gonna be grinding out this climb 
for a while pretty much till we get to Forest Hill where Brody's car has been parked for three days and then we'll drive that back I think I got enough fluids just about to crack open a wild cherry Pepsi which is gonna be pretty sweet get the sugars going I'm 50 miles in three hours 20 minutes this last 18 miles is gonna take me a solid I think two hours just because it's all uphill <sighs> it's 10 o'clock it's hot it's getting hot already typically my goal is to leave when I actually do the ride is to leave three hours earlier than I did so I would actually be here at 7 just when the Sun's kind of coming up um, to get at least half of the climbing done before it gets super hot all right back to work Pepsi time all right I just got off Forest Hill Road that was a tough uh, 10 miles from there's the camera from uh, Rowdy Rowdy Randy's this is a nice little road if you want to um, if you want, want to ride to Forest Hill but you don't want to take Forest Hill Road all the way get off at Spring Garden and then you take Yankee Gym and it's about it's a seven mile it's the same distance if you take Forest Hill Road but it's quiet and it's pretty but that was tiring <laughs> I'm gonna have a I think I got a I got a mango it's gonna be good so I'm almost there I'm 61 miles in um, legs are a little tired and it got hot but now I got some shade I got enough fluids left I'm just gonna chill the last uh, seven miles but time for downhill there's a car coming All right, adios. Well, I made it to Forest Hill, 67 miles. Pretty tired. Took me four hours and 56 minutes. The last 17 miles from Rowdy Randy's was uh, pretty tough. <clears throat> but this is pretty much the halfway point for my Sacramento to Kings Beach Tahoe ride. After this, you hang a left up here on Mosquito Ridge Road and you got a 10 mile downhill. And then the hardest climb, which is 20 miles. And then you get to the fire road, which is about 28 miles of up and down, punchy little climbs and loose dirt. So this is really not the halfway point. This is the halfway point kind of from a mileage standpoint but definitely not from how hard it was going to be and there's Brody's car it's been here for three days and it is fully intact 